Would you do anything about Islam? Just because I'm black, that's the reason why you asked me what do I know about I ask, Islam? No, I ask everybody that comes here. Okay. Because I, I can give so much information. Oh, I just okay, want to know yeah. where, where you stand. I don't want to start from the beginner or All the right. real. I, I, would, I would want you to start from the beginner because okay. probably I think I know a little, but I would want you to educate because I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not trying to sound weird right now, but I think that's your world. Okay. So, yes, I yeah. think this is your world, yeah. so I would want from you to start Sure, sure. So, so in Islam, we believe in one creator of the universe, and that creator has communicated to mankind through prophets and messengers, right? So God would send Angel Gabriel with revelation and messages to prophets and messengers. And the prophets and messengers have been many throughout history. We're talking about from Abraham, Moses, Jesus Christ. We believe Jesus Christ is the Messiah. We believe he's a prophet and messenger of God. And the last and final prophet being prophet Muhammad. And so every time a prophet came, God gave guidance for that time. So when God gave the Torah to Moses, they had to follow the Torah. And then when Jesus Christ came, God gave the people the gospel. And so those people at that time had to follow the gospel. And so the Jews who said, no, no, we're following Moses. We're good. We're, we're fine. That was not acceptable. Because if God sends a messenger or a prophet, he's carrying God's message. You have to follow the last and the latest prophet of messenger of God. And so that's why Jesus Christ uh, uh, was given the gospel and then uh, the gospel was then shared. And then after, uh, uh, after years, uh, a few centuries, God then sent the prophet Muhammad uh, for mankind. And he gave, this is the, the revelation, which is the Quran that God sent. And the Quran, uh, God himself took it upon himself to preserve the Quran. So the Quran is preserved today uh, from its, in its original form. And so in Birmingham, they have a manuscript of the Quran that has been carbon dated back to the time of the Prophet Muhammad, and it matches verse for verse. So this is the last and final update from God Almighty, right? The last and final message where mankind now has to follow. And then God also revealed that the Prophet Muhammad is the last and final prophet and messenger of God. There's no other new prophets or messengers that are going to come with new information. So, so, so what about the, those that come with say, saying, what you, so you guys literally saying those are false, false prophets, right? Those who come after Prophet Muhammad, those are false prophets, right? Because this Quran is a book that is traced back by a chain of individuals to the Prophet Muhammad. It's not just a book that we don't know who wrote it, it's yeah, traced back, you, I, I, right? It's just a question that I always want to ask, and as I said, this is your world, I think you know more than me, so I'm, I'm asking you, any prophet that comes after... Yes, Prophet Muhammad, Muhammad yes. is a false or fake prophet, except uh, anyone who comes as a new prophet, except Jesus Christ, who already came, we believe in his second coming, that Jesus Christ will come back. We believe that Jesus Christ did not die on the cross, he was not crucified, he will come back and, and so, the second so coming. You don't believe in that rolling away tomb and all of that? In what? All, all the, the story about what they told, told us about he died on the cross and they, they put him in the tomb and they rolled the stone away and he wasn't there and all of that. So all those, uh, what you're calling stories or scripture, it doesn't trace back to Jesus Christ. So we know over the, over the centuries that the, it, the scriptures have been tampered, have been lost. And so that's why God sent down the Quran to clear up history and clear up the confusion. So God says in the Quran, they didn't kill him, they did not crucify him, but God raised him up. God raised Jesus Christ up alive. And that's why his second coming makes sense. He didn't die yet. He's gonna come back. And then he's gonna clarify to the world. That's sometimes, you know, what I ask a lot of Christian, how oh, can somebody die for my sin, but yet still you still preaching, telling me that I'm living in sin. So if you die for my sin, it should be it, it should be erased, right? Yeah. So I don't know much, but I love Muslim um, religion. I love your preaching because it made more sense. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Because you're not gonna tell me that oh Jesus died on the cross for my sin, and then you're gonna come again and tell me oh I'm living in sin. I'm be like, huh? Yeah. That confuses us. Like, bro, you confusing us. So in Islam, sin is not a problem. You know what the Prophet Muhammad said? The Prophet Muhammad said that if you were not to sin, God would do away with you and bring a new people who would sin and seek his forgiveness and God would forgive him. So sin is not a problem in Islam because we're imperfect beings. And the Prophet Muhammad said every son of Adam is a sinner, but the best sinner is the one, those who repent a lot. 
So sin is not an issue, it's not a problem. And the way we do away with sins is we ask God for forgiveness and we be genuine and we try to rectify ourselves. We don't need anyone to die or shed blood or someone has to be sacrificed. Everyone's responsible and accountable for their own deeds. Yes, right? I believe in that 100%. Do you believe there's one creator? Yes. Do you believe that God has sent down prophets and messengers like Abraham, Moses, Jesus Christ? Yes, sir. Do you believe God has no parents and no children? Yes. Okay, he's unique and one, right? So yes. Jesus Christ, not God, not Son of God. Yes, sir. Not that. Yes, 100%. Do you believe that God sent the prophet Muhammad as the last and final prophet? I don't know because I don't know the teaching like that, the in-depth of the teaching. That's the reason why I stopped to like, you know, see what's going on because it's something that I'm interested in, but I don't know it. So like, let me ask you a question. There's only two religions in the world that believe in God and Jesus Christ as a Messiah and Christ. It's Christianity and Islam. Can you think of a third religion? No. Yeah. So in Christianity, they believe in the Trinity. God is three, one and three, three and one, one and three. To be honest with you, I don't even want to speak about Christianity. So then you're only left with Islam. Yes, sir. So, and the only way we know about what truly happened with, with Jesus Christ is through the Quran and through the Prophet Muhammad as God revealed to him. So I'm inviting you this evening, in this beautiful evening, to accept the Prophet Muhammad as the last and final Prophet of God, because that's the only way we know about Jesus Christ authentically. Because this revelation is traced back to the Prophet Muhammad, to Angel Gabriel, to God Almighty. So would you like to embrace and become a Muslim and accept the Prophet Muhammad as the last and final Prophet of God? Okay, repeat after me. Once you repeat this declaration, you become Muslim. All your previous sins are wiped away. Easy? Huh? That easy? That, it's and I do believe. Yeah, that all, you just, is, to be a Muslim. I, 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 was, I was born and raised into a Christian tradition. I, I once believe in it, but the older I get and the more I read, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't add up. They're, they're, they're missing pieces. There are so many pastors I stop and they when they talk to me and when I touch, like, they be like, who's this girl? Because I'm knocking on answer that they can't really give to me. You see what the sign says here? No. Ask us anything. Ask okay? us anything. You know why? Because everything is explainable in Islam. It's not a mystery. It's not we don't have answers because God Almighty explained everything for and us. The more I read is like the only religion that com comes close to the truth is Muslim. Like, for example, this, this is one of the main questions that I ask Christians. Why is there so many denominations in the Christian circle? But yet still you guys use the one Bible. But yet still you got so many denominations with different teaching. All of them teaches us something different. You got the Sunday day worshiper. You got the Saturday worshiper. You got the Jehovah Witness. You got so many, but it's just confusing and different. Right? So here's the issue. So here's so here's the issue. When, when, so here's the issue. When, when, God, when God Almighty sends a revelation, a guidance, People are going to be creating different forms of sects. Satan's not going to sit back and relax. Satan's going to try to create confusion and create sect. That's going to happen. That that's also will happen. I'm on a date right now, and I, 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 I it's like I, I want to hear what you have. Okay, so so I'm saying it, in Islam it's the same thing, right? But the difference between Islam and there's people who who create sects is that we have the book preserved. You can go back and say, wait a minute, you're wrong. Whereas in Christianity, you have you don't really have the book traced back to Jesus Christ, so you don't know what is really the truth, right? So I'm asking you, if you accept there's one creator, you accept all the prophets and messengers, you accept the prophet Muhammad as the last and final prophet of God Almighty, you accept this Quran as your book of guidance, we believe in the original gospel of Jesus Christ, the original Torah of Moses, which doesn't exist today, we believe in all the books and revelation that God sent to prophets and messengers. Do you believe in that? Yeah. Okay, so to be a Muslim, it's simple. You just declare... You have faith, you become Muslim, all your past sins are forgiven, and then you can continue on your own pace, get close to God. Would you like to say the declaration? I don't know if I want to. I mean, you already believe, right? Yeah, you, I do. So that's 100, it. Like, so, if, so you're 100% believer, then, 100, then just say it. 100% believer. Then just say it. Just de I, make it. Just <laughs> declare it. That's an old man. I, I don't want to take an oath that I, I go back and then like... No, it's not an oath. It's that you're declaring what you believe in. That's it. 
I, I don't know if I want to do that part. Okay, up yeah. to you. But I'm just saying, if you you already believe that. I do. Okay. Uh, don't I sound like I believe? Yeah, you do. So then let's just just say it. I, just believe. I, I do believe 100. So if you believe 100, percent then what's why you're, what's holding you back? I, I don't know. Satan is like no, <laughs> talking to you. So listen, wait, 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 wait. The, you're saying it. You're saying, I believe, I believe. That's becoming Muslim, basically. But we just do it in an official statement. Uh, when you say, I believe 100%, you become Muslim. If I take that oath and I walk away from my It's not an oath. It's a testimony. testimony. Yes. yes. There you go. If I say that testimony right now and I walk away from my... I walk away being a Muslim, that's what you're trying to say to me? Yes, you become Muslim. And then so, you start your learning process. You're, you're close, you're, you get close to God at your own pace. But do Muslim, we, like got a routine for praying and all that thing. all that comes don't worry about that that comes at your pace step by step the most important thing right now is to declare to god that you're a believer in him in the way that he wants us to declare it then you say okay god help me we pray five times a day it's five minutes a day so yeah five minutes saying, a day i know a little but yeah I, but that I comes that you, you do as much as you can and you at your own pace you become a stronger believer it's not required overnight. Tomorrow morning you wake up. Everything. No, no, no. We're gonna we're gonna have a sister contact you and help you and and, and uh, help you know the process and the steps. But you already believe. Just make it official. Let's do this. <laughs> look, look at that beautiful sunset. This is a beautiful time right now. No, probably next time. But um, it was good time. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. All right. So then here's you have a copy of the Quran. No. Okay. Here's a copy of the Quran. And here's this. And when you want to come make official, we're out here. You can also email us here. Let us know when you want to do it. You sure, you don't want to do it now. All right. Nice. We got the mints here as well to celebrate, but it's all cool. All right. Yeah, you have a great day. Thank you. What's your name? What's your name? Sorry. Sorry. Go ahead. Uh, I don't understand what's stopping you. If you believe, I don't see a difference between believing and declaring. I, I, I do like one hundred and ten percent. Oh, it was a hundred percent before. Now it became hundred ten. So it went up. So you got it. You got to just do it. I'm a reader and I, 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 I grew up in the Christian world and that shit doesn't make no sense. The more I read, the more I'm leading on to where most, yeah. most of the truth makes yeah. sense. Muslim bro, like. Yeah. Look, it's up to you to believe whatever, it's up to you to believe whatever you want. That's your decision. All I'm saying is that you already believe. It's like, you know, you did your research, you, you understand, you, you accept the message. It's just saying it, it's, it's no difference. You're just saying it. what happens, all your previous sins get forgiven. And you get written in this in the eyes of God as a, now you're a Muslim. You submit it to God. You submit it. Right? We have to officially submit because people can intellectually uh, understand something but don't believe. Sure. So that this is a submission yeah, the word statement. Believe, just plays a big part in everyday life. Yeah. yeah. So this declaration makes it makes it official that you're submitting to God Almighty. Not that you just intellectually recognize it or emotionally recognize it. You are now officially verbalizing, I recognize you, Almighty, the creator of the universe. And that the Prophet Muhammad is the last and final prophet of God. I get what you're saying. I get it all, but I'm not going to make my declaration. Yeah, today, whenever, you, whenever you're ready, inshallah. I'm a very frequent visitor down here, so... Yeah. Hit us up on the email, you know. Oh, right here. Our email, if you have any questions or anything. Have some mints for yourself and your okay. friend who's been so patient. You want, Thank you, you so me? much. <laughs> we got some mints for you. And okay. Would you like a copy as well? Uh, no, thank okay. you. Okay. I'll, I'll be looking at her. Yeah, no, you got. <laughs> <laughs> this is mine. Guys. <laughs> you guys have a good day. Take care. Bye-bye.